Hello everybody, Rex Tempest Time Traveler here. Once again, I am back on the Sideways Challenge, a challenge where I have to get a redstone lamp, all while only being able to move by using the A or the D button, or, you know, sideways. And I'm trying to uh, still get the obsidian for a, not the obsidian, Trying to get the diamonds so I can mine the obsidian to make the portal. And I have noticed that my pockets are once again getting very full. Um, so I definitely need to come down here to the lava. I mean, I think I kind of need to head this way anyway. Uh, let me see. Do I think I... How well could I swim to this source of that water? I, I don't know. But one thing I did want to do was uh, take care of the... Um, uh, what am I trying to think? Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, hold on, gotta get some air. All right, I am going to try to swim up by only going side. I, oh, not high enough yet. Uh oh, I know what you mean. Ah, ow, ow. Okay, so, uh, I was hoping to, you know, avoid any pain by either, um, well, you know, being in the water or landing in the water afterwards. That, uh, neither of those worked out really well. So, um, whoa. All right. Uh, up here. Uh, nine. Oh. Yeah, this sort of, does sort of, uh, remind me that I need to, like I said, empty my pockets out. I'm, Got all this stone here. All right, um, I am trying to get this water source. And the reason why is because then, like, I can get rid of some of this lava and make it a little bit safer for me to walk around. Uh, so, do I have it? Yay! Okay. All right. Thankfully, water doesn't, like, just instantly disappear when you take the source. Um... All right, uh, yeah, I don't need my crafting table right there. I don't know about you, I really don't like walking around with something in my hands like this. I like to have just, you know, kind of empty hands, so. All right, ooh, yes, this is, uh, this is much more doable. And, as long as I'm here, might as well get some iron. Because uh, in the last episode, I had a bunch of iron, but, uh, ah, uh, gravel. All right, so let me uh, just mine this real quick, and um, hold on. All right, whoops, pretty bad idea, and yet I keep doing it. Uh, I notice when it's harder to move, you just kind of make a lot more dumb choices because it's like, well, I can't just step forward easily. Uh, I'll just mine straight down. Um, again, not really a smart plan. You know what? I'm going to get rid of these snowballs because I could easily get some more uh, when the time comes. Uh, now, the four bones, I definitely want to hold on to those and even the rotten flesh to an extent. And the reason why is because um, uh, one of the challenges, in addition to getting rid of the lamp, was the idea of getting a... Um, oh. A dog and a cat since I had this awesome seed that just gave me uh, all that stuff so easily so yeah I, like I ended up appearing right next to a uh, um, oh what am I trying to think of right next to a jungle that's right and a tega all right so what I am gonna do is while I wait for this stuff to oh okay it just didn't seem lit up I see the fire comes out of the bottom all right, so let me crouch and place some blocks over here. And let's see, I'm going to continue, I think, down the cave in this direction, uh, just because I feel like I've kind of exhausted, you know, any other caves. And I mean, I've, I'm getting the feeling I am going to have to tunnel. There is literally no way I can avoid it. So, um, wait. All right, who's that? Who's making that noise? Um, is that you? Are you the 
One is making the noise. Ha <laughs> ha! One hit. That's pretty awesome. Um, so let's go ahead. And I think it may be time for another upgrade. Or, two, let's see, now I can only do one upgrade. So, uh, I think what I am going to do, though, is since I do have some pants, I think I'm going to just uh, go ahead and get some of this for my self and there we go look at that um and then if i can just get one more i can have some uh, iron boots to go with it but i figure you know might as well cover an area not already covered than to try and just better cover you know another area plus all it would do is you know take up another slot in my inventory all right so we are continuing in this direction I'm hoping that this next cage just doesn't go up without going also down. Come on, get up here. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, whoa. Okay. That's uh, that's not going to be a lot of fun. Um, can I get some water on it? Uh, I don't know if this will do anything, but let's try it. Oh. Oh, there we go. Whoa. Okay, got to do some swimming and place around some torches because the downside to getting rid of any lava source is, of course, the fact that you've gotten rid of the light. So, all right, this one I think I'm going to block off. And there we go. And the reason I just collect it like that is that way it can't really flow any further. So, uh... On the plus side, more iron is always good. Um, I wonder how much though. Oh, two pieces. And the cave has just ended. Whoa. Oh. Let's see. All right. Can you actually navigate this? Oh, you can. That's it. Well, for your abilities, I am now going to kill you. Um, I know that sounds really horrible, but you know, it's a zombie. What do you expect? I'm not going to sit around and play nice with it. All right, so now I could go ahead and upgrade to some boots. Uh, that'll be nice. And let's see. Uh, I guess there is that one way going to the side over there. And do I feel like trying to get that iron or that gold? Uh, no. Um, just really kind of more of a hassle, I think, than it's worth. So. All right, let's uh, let's put this down. Let's make ourselves some boots. Um, all right, yeah. Now I'm walking in style. Uh, I should be able to better handle anything that is uh, going to try to kill me. And to be fair, there's a lot of those things. All right, so let's head on down here. Uh, let's switch to this view for a while. Oh, ooh, mushroom. Uh, I think it's just going to take up a space in my inventory without doing much of anything. So, uh, well, I mean, there's more iron, but, uh, well, I guess I kind of have to head in that direction anyway. And let's face it, it would be, it would be good to have some iron pants. Um, just, you know, so I have like a complete iron outfit. And, hmm, no, I'm not going to try for that one. Uh, what I am going to do, though, is try to make a bridge. So, let's see. Uh, one, two, three. All right. This just feels so bad. Like, such a bad idea. All right. So, let's go ahead. Mine this. And... Ah... Uh, are diamonds so hard to get? Well, okay, to be fair, I mean, they are supposed to be rare. So, uh, let's just kind of continue around this way. Let me see. Let me get to the edge a little bit. See if I can see anything as I go around. Looks like this is like where two ravines kind of intersect with each other. Uh, you know, that is pretty cool if you stop and think about it. But, I mean, not helpful, but... Yeah, it's still pretty awesome. All right. So, continuing on around. Now I get to use my awesome wooden 
shovel. Ah, uh, whoops. Yeah, okay. I get the feeling, though, it's going to come down to me just tunneling into the mountain and having to look for it that way. Um, probably the most boring way to do it for you guys, but, uh, I mean, unless the game is going to actually, like I said, start finally being nice to me, which would be a welcome change. I'm not going to deny that. Um, let me, okay. Whew. Yeah, believe me, this is a very nervous work right here. Um, all right, let me see. Anything yet? Can I step out here? Uh, just lots and lots of redstone. And as I've discussed, I can't really do much of anything with redstone. So, uh, all right, so we're just going to continue this way and just hope for the best. Uh, honestly, though, I would love to get some diamonds, at least this episode, if nothing else. Um, you know what? Oh, I was going to say, I'm going to bypass the redstone, but there's really not much point in that, since it's just going to put it right in my path. Um, how much redstone do I? Wow, 52. And once again, my pockets are full, so, excuse me. Uh, yep, yeah, don't need the mushroom. Don't need any of these special stones ever. Um, I am going to continue to hold on to the, uh, to the gra gravel. And, you know, I'm going to go ahead and smelt this iron. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I know it seems like kind of a waste of a piece of coal, but, you know, I have a bunch of it. And this way, that iron bar can just join up with that one. Um, all right, so let's see. Let's keep going. Hoping for the best. Come on. Diamonds. I'm, I'm going to try and, you know, tell the game what I want, see if it'll give it to me. Diamonds. All right, you know, let's, I know it doesn't take long to smelt one piece of iron, so let's go ahead and get that. And, yeah. All right. So, just more of the same, I guess. Um, now, one mob I noticed I have not really run into is spiders. Um, and the reason I say that is because I am supposed to be trying to get some uh, string so that I can go fishing so that I can get something that will actually attract an ocelot to me. So, I'm still trying to keep an eye out for that. Um, but I did see a spider. It was kind of when I was still trying to get my recording software up and running. And unfortunately, what happened was it just jumped into the lava. There's no way I really could have saved it at all. So, all right, you know what? Let's uh, put down a torch because I'm about to add some more water. Oh, whoops. If I'm going to push me anyway, I don't want it to push me towards that stuff. All right, uh, do I want, you know what, I'm, like I said, wait, do I have, whoa, ow, ow, okay, that was not nice, and I didn't even see it, so I couldn't prepare, all right, uh, I guess I gotta, I was trying to say, do I want to get the iron, but maybe I should uh, be focused on the cave, and what kind of deadly things might be around here. So, uh, again, toss around some torches as much as possible. And swimming. Swimming upstream is always difficult, no matter when and how you do it. But, you know, I will say, when you kind of move sideways, it's even more so. Uh, and I have pretty much exhausted the the ravine. All right, so that does mean that I need to get down to the lowest possible level and then just tunnel in and hope for the best. And I do apologize for those of you watching that you have to kind of sit there through something like that, but I literally can't think of anything else to do to get uh, diamonds. 
Now, like I said, for this particular challenge, I just I just really wanted to do it the you know what well, I don't know. I think of it like the proper way, you know, where you uh you get you know the iron not diamonds and you build your nether portal that way. So um, let me check once again. Okay, eleven. So uh, how many? Okay. I, I think I'm just going to tunnel in, I guess, this direction. Uh, I don't know why I'm choosing this one. Now, okay, look at that. I could just press sideways, and since I'm still kind of facing in a diagonal direction, I can just kind of keep moving forward. Um, how do I feel about gold? Eh, you know what? Why not? I do need to, though, remember to toss some of these around. Uh, and sometimes, you know, I've learned that if you get rid of one ore, sometimes, who knows, you may see another one right behind it. So, uh, that was not the case this time, but it could have happened. Um, all right. So, let's see. Let's, uh, I guess let's go, oh, let's not try to kill the stone, since I don't think that's going to do much good, but let us put... It down here and let's go ahead and start smelting some of this stuff so uh, while that's going uh, because I am worried about my pickaxe obviously and more and more iron yay well I'm definitely gonna make some iron pans and a replacement for my iron pickaxe um, oh whoops since I'm already Smelting some, might as well start adding some of this to it. And that way, when I do come back, I will have a whole bunch of iron to go. All right. Now, I guess the other possibility is I could come to, like, another ravine or... Well, I think that kind of answered that possibility. Uh, okay. Not sure if I want to find out where this noise was coming from. Oh, what the? What? Oh, must have hit my, uh, and there we go. All right, so let's head on back, switching this way now. And, um, all right, you know what? This will be enough, and I'll go ahead and, oh, yeah, I got to put my crafting table down somewhere. Uh, well, at least this way nothing can sneak up behind me, so, hmm, no sticks. All right. I will go ahead and take some this, and there we go, got my replacement, and here we go. Now, the other question is, should I hold on to my uh, science pants and, you know, jacket, or should I just toss them? Well, you know what, it's not a question I really have to answer right now, so... Uh, I'll just kind of keep all of it. Uh, what I will do, though, is I will come out here and, once again, empty my pockets. And, yeah, I know I could just, you know, you know, uh, I could just, oh, what am I trying to say? What? Oh, yeah, I see you way up there. Uh, and I see you. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. All right, let's uh, let's get in for some safety. Die, and you. Ah, no, no. Ah, I have. Oh, okay. All right, this one, this one sucks. All right. Ah. Uh, um, which uh, got to start all over completely from the beginning. No food, no weapons, no armor. Uh, I was trying to get away from the lava. It didn't work. In fact, it failed pretty miserably. Uh, I don't have my clock. I don't, uh, oh, 
Oh, uh, this, this, this one. Ah. Oh. All right. Uh, wow. Okay, sorry. I am just really at a loss for words on this one. Um, I don't even know that there's any point. You know what? I think I will go back, though, because sometimes, I mean, it's not much of a chance, but I suppose there is at least somewhat of a chance that uh, the stuff, some of the stuff didn't land in the lava, but, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think that's very likely. All right, so tell you what, guys, uh, I think I'm just going to kind of end the episode here, um, and, uh, I do want to say, uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time for the Sideways Challenge. Bye!